Voila! The slightest pause, perfectly timed for maximum effect, and then, in view, a humble vaudevillian veteran cast vicariously as both victim and villain by the vicissitudes of fate. Evie simply stared and forgot to hold the pepper spray quite as high as previously, and, as if taking her silence as willing agreement to his carrying on, he raised one hand to indicate his mask. This visage, no mere veneer of vanity, is a vestige of the vox populi now vacant, vanished, a vital voice once venerated now vilified. However, this valorous visitation of a bygone vexation now stands vivified, and has vowed to vanquish these venal and virulent vermin vanguarding vice and vouchsafing the violent, vicious, and voracious violation of volition. He paused for effect, then and Evie felt her jaw dropping. But perhaps that was the effect he was after. And anyway, before she could say anything, let alone ask him what the hell he was talking about, he was off again. The only verdict is vengeance, he declared, a vendetta, held as votive, not in vain, for the value and veracity of such shall one day vindicate the vigilant and virtuous. Yet verily this vichyssoise of verbiage veers most verbose. So let me simply add that it is my very great honor to meet you, and you may call me V.